If you haven't heard about Anchor, it is the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. Lawful Stupid just jumped over. First of all, it's free, and we love that. Secondly, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer, wherever you're at, on the go. Anchor will also distribute your podcast for you. There are a lot of other vendors out there, a lot of platforms that they will make sure your podcast gets to. So it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. And you can make money from your podcast with zero, I say again, with zero minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hey guys, uh, we had an episode nine, but due to some technical difficulties, we lost it. So it's gone. We had some really cool flashback material but it's super gone. We cover that in the recap, but we're really, really sorry. Here's the new episode, episode 10. Welcome to another episode of Lawful Stupid. This is going to be episode 10, and we're going to do something a little bit differently this time. I told you we had a much better plan for how we were going to start the episodes, and <laughs> I did lie. Uh, so I want the team, the players, who don't listen to episodes while editing to tell the audience where we are leading into this. Ah, the joke is on you, DM. Oh, where are we? I love the sound of my voice so much that I re-listen to every episode <laughs> before it's edited. Ha <laughs> ha! That's him as Shane. That's not him being character. That's true. Sure. That, that is how Shane talking. sounds, yes. I yeah. forget what Christoph Shindo sounds like. I'm going to be great at recapping. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Well, because we're not doing any character. Okay, so what what happened last time? Is what the people so, need to know. Last episode, uh, we had visions of our past. We delved into our backstories. Is that correct? Would, that you, it, would you agree with that? I mean, that, we, we should go around happen. the room and we yeah. talk about. Yeah, we do this round robin style. All right, Kristoff, go. Uh, my flashback was I played a game that was not tack. Uh, it was a chess game, and I was very, very enthused about it, and I started my career as a political cumin, and uh, brought the dreaded Baron to justice. Just very snake-like as well. Uh, uh, Atlas, what Fade did you black. do? Hey. Tilly-do, tilly-do, tilly-do. All right, well, I guess I'll go since uh, Smokey the Bear up there is gonna... Go his turn. Uh, said I said Atlas. I, I thought you like said Alex. Alex. No, uh, I said Atlas. No, thanks, no, uh, thanks, Alex. This for is great. this is great podcast. Viewers, go ahead and uh, hashtag who you thought he said. Viewers, Winners listen to this. Nothing. We're well, just we're off to a great. Yeah, we're a great Should start. We just start off. Let's start let's over. Talk, let's, oh let's no. Talk over each other some more. Yeah, please. All right, so in my flashback, uh, I, it was me. I was in school, battle school. I'd been there a few weeks. Uh, I had been there with, with Kilda. He was my, my human friend. And uh, we were at the Battle of the Sword, the Test of the Sword. I made it pretty far into that uh, that competition when I got uh, I had to fight Yoon Kunlevi. And uh, she <coughs> bested me. She bested me. So the thing about that is uh, I found there that my strength was not in my arm and not hiding who I was. But instead, being proud of who I am, a proud orc, a white orc, despite the, the uh, history that has brought me to this point. All right, Rowan. He's a strong, independent white orc, and he don't need no man. No oh, man. <laughs> no man. No uh, man. I helped an elf, or a dwarf, and the other short one, a gnome, fall in love. <laughs> the end. <laughs> That's <laughs> all I did. That's all I did. Yeah. Some would say you might have found true love, or at least what it looks like. Right. Wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get into this episode. What do you guys think? Good? Yeah? Alright, great. No. You're fired. No, okay, now, now I'm ready. Now I'm ready. Oh, now you're ready? Oh, you son of a bitch. Alright. The flame of your campfire roars as you all sleep softly atlas you were on watch and you fell asleep next to the warm bonfire Kristoff had created when the three of you set up camp 
All three of you awake slowly to the sound of the fire being stoked. The soft rustle of metal against the wood, the flame biting the wood, light filling the night sky. You notice a man sitting on a log nearby the fire. He's wearing a thick fur cloak and a long metal object on his back. The man is wearing something to cover his head, but while you recognize it as some sort of helmet, you've never seen anything like it before. The faceplate has two orbs where the eyes would be, but you cannot see past the blue tent. Three slits exist where the person's mouth should be. They sit silently, stoking the fire. What do you do, guys? Ho there, stranger, friend or foe? Uh, that's a good question. I read the intro, and I'm not going to have to edit this out. I was not ready for questions. <laughs> I was not ready for questions at all. I asked you what you do. Uh, that's a good question. I'm going to edit this part out. No, oh, we got to do that. mistakes. Yeah. So I'm already going to have to edit the other one. Alive, chef. Oh, it's, I will be way more prepared for that. Wink. <clears throat> Dude, what the fuck? Why did I write this person's name down? Wait, is he a friend or a foe? I don't fucking know! <laughs> this drastically changes how the game goes. I didn't think you were gonna talk to the fucking guy. He's supposed to be <laughs> No, like, I gotta find my notes of where the person is. That's the problem when was I do it, all these was notes. Was it Steve? Was it George? What the, control F helmet. Oh, that's true. That's not actually not a bad idea. Can we just start, like, if you have to look up something, can we just make up things for them? And that's just what they are? Ah. Uh, F Kylo Ren. No. Um. Mm. Fuck, dude. I don't remember spacing out on writing down all of their shit. Okay, that's cool. Fuck it, we'll do it live. We'll do it live! Time is so we know to cut it out. <laughs> I, I have to listen to these anyways. It's Every like, time like you say seconds. the time is, I'm like, I still have to listen to all this shit, man. Every time. Okay. Oh, that's what it is. I, I, I whisper it. racial slurs during all the episodes, hoping Dwayne won't catch them. <laughs> oh, there it is. Where the fuck was her shit? Ah, I found it. I knew I made a whole character for this. You just call me a goddamn Scooby. <laughs> I did! You caught it! You win the prize! Put up your dick beaters, let's dance. <laughs> okay, alright, alright, so let's, so let's, let's go back. Pull up let's start over. Um, <laughs> so, what do you do? Ho there, stranger! Friend or foe? So, let me ask this question. When you sleep, do you sleep in a tent? Just a sleeping bag? Open air? Like, what is that like for you? Just so I can imagine the picture in my head. I mean, I'm not carrying a tent around. If that's what you're asking, no. You I'm might be. Doing, you might have like a like I a have, fucking have, stick and cloth. I have a bedroll that is lined with the finest bonding fur. So you have this really fine bedroll, but a tent was out of the question. Yeah, my bad. The bedroll's way less heavy, and you don't have to set it up and all the sticks and stuff. It's pain in the ass. You're also a sorcerer. Email. You have mage hand. Magic can't be that. Anyways, anyways. So, uh. So what to do? <laughs> Still like puppet minds. Like I have to make like shadow puppets of building a fucking tent. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so this figure uh, looks at you, and and again you can only see the faceplate, and says, "Neither." Would you like to be? <laughs> a friend. He means a friend. Neither or a, or a foe. I. I don't have interest in fighting any of you. No. Perception check. That's true. He could have just killed us in our sleep if he wanted to fight us. Sure. Go well, ahead. That would be a very Devin, good fight if he wanted roll to wear the adversary. Roll the perception check and tell me what you're intending to perceive. What's he get on his back? Oh, that's fair. Is it I was, a weapon or... I was like waiting a, for, like, you to... The tin. I thought, is he good? <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's not <laughs> what perception is. <laughs> I'm super proud of him. I've never been like, yeah. like, proud of um, deep So uh it's a weapon on on the his back that you don't um you don't recognize. It's a style of weapon that you don't recognize. Um it's a I mean, fucking shotgun. I mean it, yeah, essentially it's like a, a style of rifle. Um but you guys have never seen it. It's not like no it's not common knowledge to people to have that. Oh, fuck, he's got a boomstick. Oh my god, I'm gonna get uh, fuck I'm flint lock. Stranger, what is your name? And uh, she looks at you, or he looks at you, and says, um, 
and says, I don't judge. My name is Cecilia. What is your name? Cecilia. Christoph should know. Nice to meet uh, you, Christoph. I am Atlas. <clears throat> Atlas Barrel. Nice. To I, meet I you, don't Atlas. respond. I'm waking up. <laughs> <laughs> He's like brushing his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brushing his. No, I'll be with you in a second. Everything's good over here. <laughs> and uh, she she looks at you though, Rowan, and you you feel like she's not necessarily looking at you per se, and she says, "How long have you had that?" What? My hair? While it's amazing, no, I'm, I meant the loot. Oh, well good, because context clues usually require some context. Uh, I've had it for a while. And how's that going for you? I mean, about as well as anything. I'm, I mean, how's that thing on your back going for you? It's going great, but I reckon mine's not giving me visions. I mean, I don't know. Does it? <laughs> I. I. What has the loot shown you? Oh, it's sh like shown all kinds of things. I, I believe the question that comes to my mind is um, who are you? Tell <laughs> me your name. Why are you asking these questions and why should I answer them? It's obviously the personification of the thingy that we stole that's done come to life with the evil haunted spirits in it. Oh, Cecilia Iris, I see. <laughs> oh. She would be more golden, you fool. <sighs> hmm. Well, I'm a reclaimer. And it's our job to find these artifacts. And it's our job to stop them. Stop them from what? Ugh. <sighs> Well, when there's too many of them in the same spot, uh, that's when problems happen. We believe that that's what started the Arctane Wars long ago. <laughs> oh, you foolish. Oh, wait, he, he's an expert on the Arctane Wars. I he's have read many tomes on the Arctane War, and we all know it was started over, uh, what you call it, uh, popular sovereignty, states' rights. Um, no, I, I don't believe that's accurate. Um, wherever you studied, I'm, I'm not sure. Hmm. This is part of the problem. Disinformation is quite heavy with the Arcane Wars. Yes, you've been plagued quite quite greatly by misinformation. You think it was about magical arguments? <laughs> not states' rights to choose on important matters. Hmm. Yes, if only it were that simple. Listen, I... You guys seem alright. You seem like you kind of know what's going on here. And well, frankly, I don't have time to deal with this particular artifact. But I I'm, thought I should warn you not to trust those visions that it's giving me. So I don't die. I do actually am like a better fighter in that vision <laughs> he had than he said I was. She didn't know what the loot had shown us, friend. Well, I, she, obviously, she knows. She has a fancy thing on her back. She knows something. She Look, that was just one vision. It's not like it's the end of the world. Well, I mean, for you, it might be the But for <laughs> no, us, no, it's no. not. No, no, no. She just said it was not true. Well, I mean, what are we to trust her? We just showed up here with the thingy. Yes, to be fair, I don't usually trust weird creepers watching me sleep. <clears throat> oh, that's fair. Now, I didn't say the visions were wrong. I just said you shouldn't trust them. I am thoroughly confused. I think uh, that makes a point. I think it means that, like, it shows the future, but it can be changed. Like that photograph from Back to the Future, which is the story we all know. Yes, the great lore of Back to the Future. <laughs> the God. gods sing of it to this day. <laughs> when he rode upon his mighty steed, the DeLorean. Yes. A beast of steel and high-density plastics. We don't even know what those are. They were lost to the end of the time. The Arcade Wars. Arcade Wars. <laughs> sure wish they would have stopped at the first story, though. 
I disagree. I think that the, the second the second legend, though, you know, meandering at some points and over explanatory, the third piece really tied it together in such a way that the great physician Brown and his, his story fully came to Eric so, Brown. Eric Brown and, and young Squire McFly. Yes, Barty <laughs> Mc Barty <coughs> McFly. <laughs> and I like how they kept using uh, Biffy Clyro as a as a recurring character. Oh, uh, Cecilia, I'm sorry for my friends. Please, uh, go on. It's it's now. <laughs> we just stand around this fire listening to some arcane war mumbo jumbo. Mm, either way, listen, I've had enough, and I really Wait, just how, thought. How'd you find this? How'd you find the thing? She points at the loot. I found yes, you by thing. that. But how? Well, and it is an artifact. They're, they're very easy to track down. Especially uh, when you use them. So people could, like, find us if we use this. Like, maybe people who went, you know, meant us harm. Every time you use them, it puts a blip on the radar for people looking for them. People who what know what they're looking radar? for. Uh, you, Sorry? You don't know what, what is this radar of which is <laughs> That's fair. Every time you use it, it sends out a signal to those who are looking for it. Mm. Is it a specific signal or is it just like there's an artifact here? I don't are you asking if it tells me which artifact it is? Yes. Mm. Oh dear. Maybe you guys shouldn't keep that loop. Maybe we shouldn't. We don't really know. <laughs> yeah. It's only been, like, a week-ish. Hmm. Yes, ma'am. One... Sorry. To be honest, that's why we're even coming to get here to get this golden armor so we can take this to get a book, to get a guide, another thing. Anyways, all to get the information about said loot. So if you, you could just tell us what's going on. we, we don't, You can have this golden iris if you want to well... explain this to us. Yeah. Actually, I need that. <laughs> uh, but you don't need to worry about us, fair Cecilia, for we have a very learned madman who's giving us step-by-step -step directions which we follow without questioning. So I think we're going to be okay. Did you say madman? Yeah, his name is Findal. Hmm. Findal the cuckoo crazy pants, they call him, and that's what the elves call him. I feel like it goes without saying, but you shouldn't trust him either. Yes, and we should trust you infallibly when you tell us to do things. Agreed. Uh, I, I'm not asking for your trust. Uh, merely giving you warnings that I wish I would have had. So, just straight up, you really haven't said what you hear. You said we, we might have visions, but you haven't said what we should do or not do. Uh, are you that's trying not... to take the loot, or are you just hovering I, around? Eventually I will come for the loot, yeah. I have Why? another artifact that I need to reclaim first. Well, well it's what... mine, and you can't have it. It's yours for now, that's right. Yeah. This is a very strange loot. It is very, it is very strange. Listen, if these were easy, everybody would do it. But yeah, every single one of these meetings is weird. Somebody either wants to keep it, or they have no idea what I'm doing. Well, lucky for Sometimes you, the situation is both. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of so, course. So, uh, why, why wouldn't you just show up later when you did need it, instead of showing up now and saying that sometime in the future you will this need it? This is a pretty it. weird drive-by, lady. I'm hoping you don't cause too much trouble until I can come back around for it. Can I you see helmet. into the future? Probably as much as you can. Well, I mean, uh, doesn't this thing show us the future? It shows you a future. A, D, it's whatever. Oh, quite, quite different. Can we control it? <laughs> Can you control it? I. Wait, I... is that all it does? Can it do other cool stuff? Oh, the... Other than show me this guy getting almost beat? Oh, that's all you've seen out of it then, huh? Well, no, there was a thing where there's a candy parade. I'm sorry? Yes, there was a parade and we all got candy because we're so great. Oh. I don't remember that being one of its powers, but okay. If we get to choose one of the futures, whether it's the one where our friend Ghost here gets murdered brutally and pink-misted, or one with the candy parade, 
I just want to go out and, and you know make my opinion known that I have no preference. <laughs> I I do actually. Anyways, uh, well, well, since I, we're up, I think the parade was for your coronation. No, I, I don't even Ooh. know what a coronation is. So, mm. should, in the should we just... Wars, it's where there was a nation of corn. Mm. Sounds yes. delicious. Oh dear. Well. Uh, I, I guess we should just get back to Findle now, because this... Uh, I suppose I, I this has done as much as it could have. I mean, yep. I guess. Good luck, I boys. It's in good hands. And she, like, stands up... Need to and, work on your pitch! ...and shakes her head as you say, it's in good hands. And she, uh, walks up back into the night. So that was weird. Hope you find your dad. I know, she had such a deep, gruff voice for a woman. I, I don't know like if she it. was a woman. Oh, oh, this... oh, do you think it's... No like... visible bosoms. She mm. smelled like a woman. It's true. Did she? Orc knows yes. Hmm. Does Terrible. Orc know yes? Orc know yes? Orc know no? Orc know maybe. <laughs> Well, I guess we should get let's get this thing back to Fendel and and just figure this stuff out. I, there's like got to be other to monsters to fight. No, I mean we've still got the the gnome here. Put him on my back. Okay. <laughs> no, you guys, your plan was to take him to town. Right, and then we had flashbacks, and then he was like, "Oh, my mom," and you repented. And I said, "If you promise not to be the big bad guy later on." We'll let you go. And he said, yes. And he crossed his fingers, but we all noticed it. So I said, hey. And I did a throwback to my story where I was like, hey, uh, just know that people don't break deals with me. I don't know. Maybe that happened. I don't remember that. All of those things happened. Yeah, sure. All right, right, so you got to cut cut this part out. I don't. I like it this better. Yeah, we never really got to a a closing to that bit before jumping into Cecilia. Yeah. Cause like, I, cause just like I did to the Baron, I like reached out and I froze him a little bit, and I was like, "You should know that when people give me their word, it is binding." Hmm. All right. Well, maybe I will edit this out and put a little extra on the the last episode. Yes. Where he <laughs> uh, walks out. Okay. Uh, so I assume you guys go back to bed and go back to bed by time, cause that was in the middle of the I'll night. I'll keep watch. I'm woken up. You're you're awake. You'll keep watch again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah. All right. So you guys wake up. It's, it's it's a nice cool day. The weather started to take a turn for the cold, and not only because it's fucking freezing where I live, but it's also freeze. It's starting to get cold uh, in the world. Hmm. I don't like it. Do we have any hard biscuits left? I don't know. Check your inventory sheets? Question mark? Uh, didn't put hard biscuits on there. I'm gonna assume I have two left. Okay. Alright. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, eat those as we travel traverse. Okay. Uh, they're still delicious because she makes some mm-hmm. delicious hard biscuits. Allison is a treat. Yeah, she's amazing. Okay, so you guys, uh, you're heading back to Oxbane then? Correct. Yes. Okay. So you guys, I mean, you guys have a very uneventful travel back to Oxbane. Um, <clears throat> and, and the town is, the way you remember leaving it, uh, guards posted at the gates, but not necessarily stopping you. Um, and you guys just want to go straight to Findles, or is there anything else you want to do before you broach that subject? No, I'm pretty excited to see what Findle has to say about mm-hmm. this. <clears throat> All right. Daddy needs that book. Uh, there is that. Okay, so yeah, you guys go back to uh, Fendel's tower, and um, you guys just knock on the door, walk in. Like, what's your strategy for that? Okay, first we have to have a point man, and then who's got the iris? I have somebody's, both. Somebody's got to run distraction, you know, like. You gotta keep him like halfway captivated with crayons and then like halfway. No, captivated. no, he he wants to get in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Look, give me the iris because he doesn't like to mess with me, and if for any reason we don't want to give it to him, 
then we won't. And that's our play. Ready? Great. And okay. then, then you kick in the door and loot the room. I'm just gonna open the room, open the door slowly. I'm gonna I'll peek my head and, and say, uh, Findle. Yes, yes, come in, my boy. Okay, just go ahead and open <coughs> her up. Walk in confidently. We yes, did it. yes, we just did it. put it there on the left. <coughs> oh, okay. And I'll look back at Rowan. Like, put, put what on the left? My weekly supply of soup, of course, boy. That's what you're here for, yes? What? No. We don't have no. any soup. Do you have soup? No, no, no. <laughs> Continuity error. He summons ham rolls. Half ham, half rolls. Where's the food comes from? We talked about this. <laughs> Except for now, he, he wants soup. He drowns them in soup. He drowns them in soup, that's true. <clears throat> I'm staying with no, my thing. Findle, it's the... The, the guys that you sent for, you don't remember. Uh, do you remember a golden iris? Oh, of course. Of course I remember you three. I just didn't know it was you. I don't know your names by any means, but it's not every day you see an orc like that. I am Christoph Schindler. Yes, that's what you said the last time. I won't remember it this time either. That's fair. <laughs> well, I guess the important thing is, do you remember what you were offering for the iris? Oh, yes. Tell you more about the loot of wind. And? Do you have the iris? Do you have the and? I, yes, I still know the information I promised you. I think. Here's the book we're looking for. Yeah, uh, our friend here needs a book for some other endeavor that he's... Uh, oh, yes. The, the book that the Justicar wants. Yes, yes. And he, like, snaps his finger and a book appears in his hand. He says, yes. He wants the, the collection of known arcanist experiments. Not sure what he's going to do with it, but as long as he returns it, it's fine. We give the, the shifty eyes to the boys, <laughs> like, do we hand it? We, 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 yes. On three. One, All right. two, three. I, I pull, I pull like out the eye. Hands you the book, and then, uh... And then he, um takes the golden iris and you see the lucidity go over his eyes and says ah, it's been far too long without this I appreciate you boys bringing us back now the loot of when uh, you wanted to know about it yes yes what do you know of the artifacts of the arcane wars that they exist well I mean I know they're varied in, in uh, power and potence and portability Hmm. I know that they're sought after by reclaimers. Mm, yes, the reclaimers, that ancient organization who reclaimed the artifacts of the arcade war. <laughs> yes, you, you seem quite knowledgeable and not knowledgeable at all at the same time. It's impressive to say the least. Um, ah, interesting. Have you ran into any reclaimers? Her name was Cecilia. She was strange and oddly arousing. She did not smell good. You said she, she smelled like fair woman. A woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do that. Uh, so he looks back at the iris and he says, Hmm, well, the artifacts are leftover relics of power from the war. The arcanist, they weren't just mages. They created some pretty awful things. Robe. <laughs> I love your robe. You just pull it off somehow. Well, yes, like the robe. It's a little on the nose, I thought, but that seems to be their style. My style now. Well, <laughs> taking it <yes>. back. <laughs> Anyways, it's it's very important that you know that these. This isn't just a magical item. It's not something for the everyday person. And the more you use it, the more it's going to uh, give you. The more it's going to give me what? It's going to give more of itself to you. What Ooh. if you had all... 
What is it doing for you now? Uh, I mean, not a whole lot. It's letting us see visions of, of uh, the past and, and potentially the future as well. Hmm. Yeah, that. So it sounds like your relationship with it is uh, still new. But what yeah, happens it's, when it's, it's not new? <laughs> yeah, what happens when we're, we're a good seasoned couple? Uh, I mean, it is the loot of when. You, you keep saying that, but we literally don't know what that means. When you, that's why we're asking. But you keep saying, like, as if loot of win is information about the loot of win. Uh, you can define something with itself. But you don't know about when, then. Like the win. Like the a win. A space. No, no. Let's, let's, let's a tell us about figure when. from the arcade wars, obviously. Oh no, that's. Hmm. Oh, what are you gonna do? So, let me tell you more about that. And as he starts to tell you more about that, uh, he loses his lucidity and he begins to say, uh, Wait a minute! Where's my book? Like, you got they're all there on the shelf. They're all blue and they say, The Arcane Wars. You cataloged them numerous times. Oh. That's great. Thanks, my boys. I was really worried about them. Where'd you get that book? It looks great. I would love to add it to my collection. Oh, it's already in my pack. It's already there. Okay. That's fine. Keep it there. That's that's great. Um, Fin Findle, you were you were telling us a story about when. Hmm. When what? <laughs> when Who's what? Who's up first? Uh, and um. So he, he gets that lucidity over him, and he says, uh, he says, when is the god of legends? I, I thought you guys knew. I, I, I understand he's not practiced and uh, sought after and believed in as much as he was, but he's still very much the god of legends. Like... A god from legends, or he's a god who has territory over legends. He's the god of legend. His whole thing is that he wants a great story out of this world. So I see. Mm. He's mm. a god with dominion over legends. Uh, it's more than that, though. He takes ordinary people and weaves them into these. Both fantastic and terrible tales, mm -hmm. and attaches his mm -hmm. name to them. Oh well, it's a good thing we're not ordinary people, gents. Yeah, because I would be scared. <laughs> <that happened. laughs> That'd be terrible. Because we are extraordinary, we're safe. Mm. <laughs> yes, well, the, like I said, the loot of wind. Ah, uh, it almost. <sighs> I've never possessed it before, but the. What they say is it allows you to change stories. We could alter the great legend of Back to the Future Part 2? No, 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 not right now. No, no. Uh, no. Nope, that one's pretty much... Really those are fixed points in time, my boy. Oh, I what? see, I see. So you mean that we can go back and hear the retelling of Pulp Fiction for the first time? It would be so fresh on our ears. Say it one more time! <clears throat> no. Pulp Fiction, Pulp Fiction, Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. <laughs> <laughs> a Pulp Fiction as Beetlejuice shows up. <laughs> uh, so he, he takes that golden iris and he puts it in his robe. I, I appreciate the help, my boys. Is, is there anything else I can do for you? Yes, you could answer some questions. Why did you need the golden iris if you were just going to tell us about the thing and then hide it? Because it's mine. You asked for information. I wanted it back. That's super fair. Mm. Mm. Very much how you needed a book. Oh. Maybe oh. you could tell us about these reclaimers. <coughs> Ooh. Yes. Yes. Those guys are assholes. Do you know some personally? Oh, not anymore. They're <coughs> dead now. Are they, or did you used to be a reclaimer? Mm, nope. 
Did Are you, you live? Use to deal with them? <laughs> he he raises both his hands and the sleeves kind of fall and you see his arms and he goes, Divine deal with them. And he air quotes the words deal. Did you murder them? Be honest. God come watching. on. Come Wait, on watching. now. <laughs> I, I don't believe it's murder all the time. There's, there's... Now, as a man who once claimed that murder was the action of taking a life and not the crime defined by taking the life of the innocent, I will ask you to clarify. I don't feel like anyone's really innocent in our world. Maybe the children. Babies. But okay, even then, it's it. a maybe. Hard maybe. Some babies are assholes. <laughs> <laughs> they won't stop crying. Agreed. I actually heard that babies start to lie after the age of six months. So anything mm. under the age of six months is a pure life. The real I question... They're lying bastards. What if it accidentally steps on your nods? <laughs> Those are some your tiny nods. What are you talking... <laughs> what do you mean, tiny nods? If there's a tiny little feet! How does that so even hurt you? Can't step on gargantuan nods. No, uh, just all of your hopes and dreams. <laughs> First of all, those died a long time ago, and I'll advise you to not speak ill of the dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Fendall, I was wondering if you have any experience you could give us <laughs> bringing it's you like this. Like a handful of experience points would go a great way. Mm, mm, experience is really in the story told. At least that's what Wynn might tell you. Right, and we've got his will made manifest in the form of his loot, so we should probably get some points, right? <laughs> Begging doesn't look good on you three. <laughs> I didn't say shit. <laughs> I know, saw it in your face. You get one experience point for not... not <laughs> you get 10,000 now. Guys, Just... I'm really high level now. Let's go fight the <laughs> boss. <laughs> Let's just burn the town down. <laughs> we can do it now. We don't need to play nice. We don't need to be nice to that fucking bitch, Allison. <laughs> I hate hard, those dude. hard biscuits. I tell you what, they are not good. <laughs> so, they cracked all of my teeth. <laughs> now that we have the power, the truth comes out. She does not know how to cook one thing ever. This hero she campaign does. quickly changes. All I asked her was for her tiny little quail eggs, and she acted like I was a terrorist. No, I asked for the quail eggs, and she brought me some eggs. She's very well, nice. When I, I tell the story, I asked for the quail eggs. <laughs> <clears throat> right. Uh, is Boys, is there anything else you can do? For Wait. me, is there anything? Why are you still here? You're right. I have business to attend to. Farewell. <clears throat> okay, great. <clears throat> I'm going to miss you, Orc. Yeah. I know. Okay. Um, go on. He's talking to me. You're already gone. I thought he would miss me a little bit. <laughs> You're just hiding behind me. You're hiding behind me. He's not talking to me. Look over my shoulder. He's not talking to you anymore. Oh, so, almost. I, I look over to Rowan and say, Rowan, uh, well, boys, I think we should go play this thing some more. If, if, if the power comes for playing it, let's do it up. You guys should do that. I'll meet you there. <laughs> do you know where that is? Yeah, the, the Red Roof Inn, where we always meet, obviously. Yeah, our just, stopping ground. Just double checking. Yeah, no, I'll super be there. Just gonna do a quick thing first. Well, actually, um, might want to stop at the Golden Hammer really quick. Uh, Atlas, maybe you can help me, um, get some armor? Pay you for your trouble. Yeah, yeah, well, I can, I can help you make it, I think, so... Um, we'll, 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 we'll talk. We'll talk to Yogg and see what he got going on. What he will. It's his forge now. I can't really step on any toes. You step on those toes. Some toes need stepping on. Not Yogg's. Like like giant nod toe. <laughs> tiny uh -huh. baby. Okay. Uh, so as you guys exit uh, Fendel's Tower. Uh, you see your favorite guard, Chiringa, and behind her is, oh, well, yeah. is like a half- Is Chiringa a boy or a girl? I need man. to know. It is definitely a man. Uh, gender fluid Chiringa. <laughs> gender fluid. Um, I'm not judging. I for sure thought it was a female. 
You, mm. Yeah, that's what you said last time. You kept calling it a he. You're like, oh, I, I wrote her as a female, but yeah. now it's Tariga who's a man, so it's a man now. And then you kept like going back and forth, and it's very confusing. Well, poop. All right, so confirmed male. Confirmed male. Turinga is a male. All right, sorry, Turinga. Oh, now it's it's to be fair, it's Turinga. I asked uh, him yeah. what it was, uh, how it was pronounced. Yeah. Uh, determined that I should have asked gender too. Um, oh, that's funny. Is a boy. That's funny that my my notes say he. I just wrote it as a she. I can't I can't handle. You are sexist. Can't undo yeah. it. I can't handle it. Anyways. I just need more gender equality in my podcast. Uh, so you see, um, uh, Chiringa, the your lovable friend guard there, and behind him, um, uh, about a dozen other guards. And, uh, Chiringa says, um, <clears throat> look, I'm, I'm sorry guys, but I really need you guys to come with us. Um, so uh, you, Chiringa, you're a friend. Whoa, 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 <laughs> one second here. Um. Uh, can I kind of pull him to the side just a little bit, not like very far off? Yeah, uh, I I think you can come up there and have like a a small side conversation without moving him too far to spook the other guards. Uh, uh, Tringo, what what are all these guards doing here? Uh, um, well, we're here to take you to jail. Atlas. Okay, th that sounds great and all. It do it really does, except it doesn't. Why are we going to jail, Tringo? I mean, I have a warrant for you guys to be picked up. Like, it's, this is what? So what's the crime? What's crime, Dringa? I, it, you know, it it sounds it's, like you guys are planning against the Trestles. The who? What? I don't have any problem with any kind of architectural thing. Yeah, what no. even is a trestle? The Magister and the Lady of the Town. No, it's the thing that holds up a roof. It is. I've, I've never <laughs> met. I love the idea that Kristoff is doing one of those, like, kicking the wait, dirt wait, aimlessly, wait, like, wait. no! Show you, like, I don't know what that's about. That's, that's oh. a trestle, I agree. Uh, that was a big help door or something, like he said. Kristoff, have you ever heard of, of, of a trestle? Oh, yes. I mean, I mean, I'm very aware of nobility just naturally it's part of my steez um, so I'm aware that they're in this town I was trying to get a job with them but um, I decided to see Karina Pashas I, I have no idea what they're talking about uh Rowan you know who the trestles are I told you it's the thing that holds up a roof uh Tringa it looks like half of us or more don't know who the trestles are and only my friend here is trying to get a job What what is the crime Listen, specifically, I, I, that's not for me. I I just had to pick you up. No, what we'll, just, we... we'll just go with him. We'll just we'll sort all this out. We'll go yeah. talk to. Him. Yeah, it could be a misunderstanding, nice. guys. I don't, I don't know. I just I know him. It's I I have a paper that says to pick you guys up the next time you come into town. Well, I have a paper that says next time someone wants to pick us up, we get out free. You just don't that. know how it To be fair, that's true. It's, it's Let's fine. Go. Yeah. Okay. We yeah, we did nothing wrong, right, guys? Yeah, we're fine. Right, right guys? Yeah, Tariq has been nothing but nice. I don't, like, let's go. We'll sort the matter out. Listen, I, I hope you don't take offense to this, and I won't take your weapons, but I'm going to have to shackle you. Taringa, you're just doing your job. I understand completely. It does not match my outfit. I have to decline. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Um, I, I can't take you in with your weapons and freely. Okay, and uh, this is where I'm going to roll my persuasion check. Uh... Turinga, we've been through a lot. I've brought you criminals. I'm a man of justice. You know me. There's no need to... I, we'll go with you willingly. Just don't... There's no need to shack us. Uh, and that is a big boy's 20 bun. Okay, so we're gonna roll a couple d20s since there's a squad behind them. But we'll see what we got. Nope. Definitely not. Ooh, that one was close, but no cigar. Um, so Chiringa rolled a no, which is a nat one on these dice. She rolled a no. <laughs> I know. Um, so she says, okay, then I have to take your weapons. By all means. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> he goes, wait a minute, that one doesn't jive with me. Here's the thing about that. I literally can't give it to you. <laughs> Willow, my axe, like Willow... 
she's a fine baby she's willing to go but the problem is this guy over here i literally i can't give it to you i can't i'm bound to this sword what do you mean you can't give it to me just hand it over i mean taringa it's magic there's magic in this world it's a bound sword surely you know uh, i mean i understand magic but i mean he could just stop using the magic he literally can't it's not I... the magic isn't within him he's a barbarian he has no magical talents. The magic is in the item. It sounds like you've got a cursed weapon. Yeah, you, you, you call it cursed. I say different. Um, oh, I dear. literally cannot give it to you. Then I'm gonna have to shackle you. I'm sorry. Okay, okay just shackle, shackle, me. shackle me. I don't want any issues. We're innocent, <clears throat> so. And I can just put my hands out. Okay, so she shackles you, and then uh, she. Is it a boy or a girl? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. It's it's somewhere deep in my brain. All um, of our fans say, please don't make us a character on your podcast. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna fuck up our gender. Um, <laughs> so he shackles you, and he motions for the guards to collect your weapons, uh, including yours, except for um, your sword. So he takes Willow, or they take Willow. Um, so you're disarmed of your primary and secondary weapons at this point. So if you had short bows, whatever. Um, Super Greek, just saying. Those are happy. And sh so she leads you back to the uh, <clears throat> the keep. Who does? He leads you back there to the keep. I don't get it. I don't understand. Um, Thank so everyone a man in this podcast. Hey, everybody, there are no women. we're pausing the recording right here. Dwayne, picture his genitals. Picture <laughs> his genitals right now. I don't know why heart. having a girl. I think it's because the, the cartoon picture is very feminine on Instagram. Is it? Well, I say, well, the one I just sent you I, is from something that, and I'm assuming it's it's like a character of himself. Yeah, oh, I haven't it's seen that one. That's the first time I've ever I seen that just one. Just found it. Yeah, just that found helps. It. That helps yeah, my yeah, brain hole. Yeah, it's the one that I picture. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I've never seen that the one. Genitals, fucking gin nope. bush and all. Yeah. Nope. Is genitals. Nope. Please right. don't forget to take this off. <laughs> I, well, I again. Or do. I'm gonna leave it in here where we all picture Turinga's genitals. He he puts the part in there. Just picture the genitals, ginger bush and all. That's the clip. <laughs> I'm just gonna take that clip and like when you go to roll persuasion checks and crit twenty, that's what I'm gonna paste over your speech. You would probably appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Immediately, we we have a whole new set of erotica followers. Oh, so that's what's gonna. Yeah, push you know what? Yeah, mm -hmm. we need that. They're super fans. Mm, okay. They're diehard. So, okay. uh, he leads you back to Castle Trestle, <laughs> and uh. The, the the squad of um, soldiers or guards they escort you as well and he super locks you up uh, uh, where does he lock me up walk me through this so we go, they go through the castle and the castle has like uh, cells essentially like okay, in so the... we walk in the main hall mm -hmm. yep and they lead you over so in the main hall it's like it, again it's that lavish place and to the right when they turn right that's where like the guards and stuff are it's it's imagine like a police station inside of a castle sure. that's kind of the, where they turn you and uh he he takes you up a level so you go over and go up a level and that's where the like cells are and when we're in the main hall i'm gonna lean to turinga and be like turinga friend uh could you do me a favor and while we're being escorted could you uh, alert the just car for me. He says, uh, he says, absolutely. I, I don't want to get in trouble, so I have to make sure I physically see you guys in the cell, and then I'll go get yeah, the just car. Send like us. Okay, perfect. Yep. Thank no, you. no problem. I'll go get him right after that. This has to be a misunderstanding. I don't know why people who would bring in Craig's people of all things would be captured or wanted. I agree. So uh, he does that. He he. Put you guys in the cell and you guys go in easily no fighting yeah no fighting okay yeah. cool and chill, chill. when they put you in the cell atlas um uh tringa looks at you and says i can trust you right of oh, course cool. i'm not a good liar so yes and you would know what i was lying and he <laughs> unlocks your shackles because you still have a sword on you thank you <clears throat> and he goes don't make me regret this and then he uh, shuts the, the. I mean, he's putting his job on the line, man. 
That's, I appreciate it. And yeah. uh, so you guys sit there, and you guys sit there for what feels like a couple hours. Um, is there any uh, chatting you guys want to do while you wait? Wait, so this is a strange misunderstanding. <laughs> I agree. Kristoff, what did you do? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. No, he wouldn't do anything. He's fine. <clears throat> well, obviously, one of us here they suspect of something. I don't know what a trestle is. Uh, Rowan, you had no idea what a trestle is. The only person, one of us, who knew what who the trestles were. I give him a meaningful glance. Is our good friend, the highly noble Kristoff. To be fair, get... Atlas, you should have known who the Magister is since you've worked you in here. Oxbane for forever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> no, I just, I just give a meaningful glance like I'll explain later. I, I don't know who could be listening in right now. But, but I only knew that he was the Magister, I didn't know his name. Oh, you mean, oh, you mean all fancy pants? Fancy pants, cougar doo boo. All right. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's it's fine. Like none of us has done anything. We'll yeah. we'll just sit here and wait for them to talk it out. We'll just be fine. We'll sort all of this out. For old I, 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 if, if I can get Yogg to, to post our bail if we need it, he, he'll. I mean, I, I mean, who knows how many shovels I've sold by the time I get back <laughs> now? I just, Probably. That's true. They weren't free. They weren't free at all. This is just throwing them in with deals at all. You know, okay. <clears throat> Sweeten the pot. Let me get you the show. <laughs> so you guys sit in the cells, or the cell, excuse me. You you sit there, and the first hour goes by as you're talking, and then it's followed by another one, and it's followed by a few more, and just a call of come. The noon time that you have been brought into this, you see outside that it's dark now, and it's been dark for a while. And while the guards have been pacing and checking on you, those trips have been far and few between. In the oh, last, stop one of the guards. Okay, yeah. Uh, excuse me, sir, friend. And uh, you you don't recognize this guard, but he stops. Says, uh, yeah. Hey, uh, I was wondering, would it be at all possible uh, for you to check on... Uh, Turingo was supposed to alert the Magister, or not the Magister, the uh, Justifier, of the current situation, and we haven't heard anything back. Uh, as far as I know, he did. Uh, I don't I don't know what to tell you, but he did. He went off. I haven't seen Turingo since. Uh, can you just wait one moment, please? Sure. And I, like, turn my back to him, and I open my bag. And I pull out that book, and I want to open like the first. What's on the first page of that book? The first page or the cover? The the very first page once you open the cover. Uh, I mean, it's the beginning of the book. Uh, it like I think it would just say like like introductory text, because uh, it's the book of uh, the collection of known arcanist experiments. It pains me to do so, but I pulled that page out. Oh, ugh. Okay, you do that. I pull that. I pull that page out, and I fold it up, and I go. Could you deliver this to the Justicar? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I'll see if I can find him, yeah. I thank you very much, sir. And he, like, takes the page and he, like, unfolds it, makes sure there's no, like, funny business, and he looks at it and he goes, uh, Is that a rare book? Just say it's from, just say it's from Crystal. Uh, oh, okay. All right, yeah, I'll take care of it. <clears throat> and that, that guard goes away. Um, about an hour passes and another guard walks by um, and then another pass another hour passes and, and it's it's late <clears throat> and do you need, any of you guys want to try and get any rest while you're waiting yes I, want some I mean the entire too. time there's nothing going on I'm short resting <laughs> yeah well I didn't know if you wanted to like try and sleep for the night at all um, yeah I'm gonna sleep after I get some rations excuse, excuse me god we, we've been here for uh, quite a while don't we get meals while we're your prisoners, supposedly? Uh, listen, I'll, we'll feed you in the morning when the kitchen opens again. Oh, great, thanks. Appreciate it. And I'm angry, I'm hangry now. I'm, <laughs> I'm very close to raging, and I'm going to go to sleep. Gotcha. Okay. So, uh, I think that's that's a good, that's a good uh, time to kind of, like, 
break this episode off with you guys in jail and sleeping. Is yeah. there anything you guys want to say on the way out of this episode to the audience since you're going to be a part of the outro these days? I didn't do it. Uh, I will not say anything else without my lawyer present. Dun, dun. Depends on what your definition of the word is. Is um, We want to thank you guys for listening. Uh, it really means a lot to us because realistically we just play this game and record it because we're nerds and we enjoy playing this game so the fact that you guys listen is totally awesome to us uh you can follow us on facebook and twitter and instagram and those are all lawful stupid except for twitter which is stupid lawful because we like to make it really hard on you um and we're stupid lawfully okay Uh, great i just want to say again if if you guys uh like what you're hearing and you want more content like this we're gonna keep rolling out if you the biggest thing you can do for us is one tell a friend somebody else that like would it, it loves this stupid nerd game that we play tell them that this podcast is out there and that it makes you laugh or you know cry or whatever it is that you do when you listen um, maybe both and uh, give us give us a review on iTunes and we want honest reviews people we want to know what we can do to make a better product for you um, so let us know in the iTunes uh, review and uh, tell a friend that helps us out a whole lot. Mm-hmm. 